Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be running my final game of Vintage, match of Vintage, for the Untap Open League this season. I'm going to be running Blazing Infect again. Now this is round 6, this is the last round. I have enough points, I actually could have intentionally drawn. Uh, but, partially on principle, I am playing for a team now, so it's not wholly principle. On principle, I always play. I always play no matter what. I like playing the game. Uh, however, I'm playing for my team, and so by not intentionally drawing, there's a chance I might not make it in the top eight. If I do win this, though, because of how the points are uh, distributed, I actually get first seed. So that's great. If I lose, I'm out of top eight. So my deck on the play, my deck getting first seed and always being on the play is awesome. It's perfect. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. Oh, but if I lose, eh, so there. There might be some stakes here, just maybe. Uh, what you see is what you get. You get good old Infect combo. This is Blighted Agent and Plague Stinger and Ink Moth Nexus as my creatures, all ten of them. Uh, you may see a few more. Progenitus is uh, is not going to actually be cast. That's for. I have to scroll down just a bit for you. What is up with the formatting on here? My opponent's is not like this. My opponent's is normal. Mine is all out of whack. Uh, is for Progenitus is for Blazing Shoal. It'll give for no mana, plus 10 plus 0 for a turn, or with good old Blast... Where are you? There you are. Blasphemous Axe down here, plus 9 plus 0. Either way, because of Infect, that's lethal. And that's pretty good. Lavinia shuts this combo down. Thankfully, no Lavinia's this time around. Ooh, that rhymed. Now, let's see. Uh, beyond that, backup win conditions. You see Blightsteel Colossus. Gee, I wonder what that could be. That could maybe be a reference to... Where are you? Okay. Tinker. It's not quite alphabetical order, so I have to <laughs> read through it. Yeah, good old Tinker. So, take one of my ten artifacts, for, uh, well, yeah, five Moxin, Black Lotus, and four Ink Moth Nexi, and tinker it into a Blightsteel, or I could have Show and Tell. And this will give me the ability to get out a Progenitus or a Blightsteel Colossus that's just stuck in my hand and use that as a win con. So those are the ways that this deck wins. Everything else is to help me find the combo or stop the opponent. As for my opponent, we're looking at good old Dredge. J well, I say good old. This is sort of a, uh, a compromise Dredge, I suppose. It's in between. It's not Pitch Dredge. There aren't that many counterspells. But it's also not Standard Dredge. Uh, you'll notice that the the lands are not just the four bazaar of Baghdad. That's not standard nowadays. The Dagmore Salvage is, of course, for the, the three Bloodgast. Mana Confluence is for uh, the ability to play something like Nature's Claim out of the board, or just to have more mana to pay for sphere effects so that you can go off against shops. Petrified Field is a way to get back Bazaar of Baghdad, so this is a very consistent Bazaar deck. Uh, and by Bazaar deck, <laughs> both senses. Uh, they're going to be running Prized Amalgam, which is also not all that typical, but if you hit a Narc Amoeba or a Blood Gas, just like in Modern, you're going to get Prized Amalgam, and this helps to turn the deck into a, a, a faster deck. This is about a turn two and a half kill deck, so I have to be pretty quick on the draw. And speaking of, uh, so my opponent has kept, I am looking at, uh, already I see Ancestral, I see Mox, Ink Moth, and a Land, so that's pretty good. Uh, I see a Blazing Shoal. There's one thing that's missing, though, which hopefully I'll be able to either draw into or find a way to draw into it soon. So I'm going to start off going uh, Flooded Strand into... So I know what my opponent's deck list is. I know I don't have to worry about Strip Mine or Wasteland, so I'm going to get an Underground Sea into Recall, draw three, play the... Uh... Oh, no, if I do that, there's a problem. I don't get the Ink Moth out right off the bat. That might be a problem. It may be better for me to play the Ink Moth here and use the Flooded Strand into Ancestral on the next turn. I'll still have Blazing Shoal. I think that that's fine. I, I think it's okay to do it that way. It gives me the ability to threaten a turn two kill if my draw's not bad. So that's what we're gonna do. In any case, I will tell my opponent that I'm keeping and I am on the draw. So, this is, this is okay. We're gonna play out our Ink Moth, play out our, oh hello, there we go, our Ruby, and we will pass the turn. So my opponent's on Dredge and they kept a full 7. That's not great, and by the way, let me cut that off. 
There we go. Let me check my OBS settings real quick. Yeah, that's off. That's off. Okay, we're good. Should be good anyway. Okay, Bazaar of Baghdad. We're going to draw a card. See what we got. Didn't quite get there. Spell Pierce is okay. I can live with Spell Pierce. So we're gonna... I'm, I'm double clicking it <laughs> instead of what I normally do. Alright, so 19. Okay, what are we gonna find? We're gonna find a card. We're gonna find an underground sea. We're gonna play an underground sea. Somewhere hereabouts. We're going to play a recall. What do you say, opponent? Do you have force of will or mental misstep? You know, my opponent could bizarre here to try to draw into one. Response, yep. Okay, so that's that's what they're gonna do. As expected. Uh, T1 Glistener Elf this game. Uh Yup. T1 Glistener Elf this game is sponsored by coffee. Uh, caffeine all the way. I will take as much as I can. Make myself. This is this is my winning end. If I win, I get first seed going into top eight. If I lose, I'm out. So I very much need to make sure I'm wide awake for this. And I am a little bit scared about what <laughs> what's going on. Now I see a stinkweed and an Icarid and a bridge. I mean, we've seen worse. That that. Okay, that's fine. So resolves good. I'm gonna draw three. One, two, three. <clears throat> Did not get there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bit of a problem. We didn't find... We, we found a brainstorm. Maybe we can brainstorm into it next turn. All right. Go to combat, I guess. Swing for one. No effects. Yep. Just taking the one. Then we'll pass the turn, and it stops being a creature. Stops being a deuterino. Alright, so the mental misstep is probably dead in hand. Uh, if they didn't have a mental misstep there to fight, response to Icarid trigger. Okay, good, makes sense. Alright, yep, we're gonna find our five. Or, I don't know, we'll see. Hmm, that's not good. That's not good. As Evangeline would say, that can't be good. Oh wow, I see. Is that a good? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's real good for us. That's real good for us. Double force, double misstep. Just miss, just whiff every time, please. Okay. All of the whiffing. Um, draw. MB, my bad, Icarid tri Trigger resolves. Hey, it happens. No worries. I mean, it happens. They said draw, that's actually missing the Icarid Trigger, but no one cares. I don't care if this is competitive. No one cares. No one should care. Someone out there cares, but we're not on the Pro Tour. Alright, so swinging in. Taking the three. Yep. Blip, blip, blip. Now, I saw a one bridge. One here. Just the one. So we're, they're about to get a 2 2. And there's an Elish Norn, by the way. That's scary. They can dread return an Elish Norn. That's. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, crap. We got it. We have to misstep that.
even if somehow they were targeting uh, themselves. Ooh, that's not good. What's the blue card? Prized amalgam. What would you like to name? Okay, having deck list here kind of stinks for this purpose. I'm about to lose so hard. I'm about to lose super hard. Cabal Therapy takes all copies of a given card. Blazing Shoal. Jeez. Couldn't just name Progenitus, could you? Jeez. Wow. Yeah, okay. Mmm. That hurts. That hurts, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. <laughs> you know it. Hmm. Okay, so what else can they do here? Let me take a look at their yard again real quick. They have another Cabal Therapy, so they could name something else. What do you name, opponent? Do you drop your, your token? You drop your token to hit show and tell. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Show and tell or brainstorm are the two. Yep, that's the one. I, I, I would be... I could just top deck out of this. It's not going to happen, but I could theoretically top deck out of this. It's very much not going to happen, though. Ooh. Well, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Demonic Tutor. Yep, okay. Now, here's a trick. Here's a trick. Let's go hit find card. So there's a few things I can do here. I believe that the correct play is to go and get Tinker. What I do is I hit, uh, well, um, let me look at my opponent's yard as well while I'm at it. Okay, so that's one, two, three. There could theoretically be another Force of Will. It's not all that likely, but there could be. And if it's not here already, in those three cards I don't know, uh, I'm gonna hit Thinking. All right, looking for a card in deck again. I believe I'm supposed to do Tinker here. And the reason is because if I play Show and Tell, even though I already have Show and Tell, if I use Show and Tell and get a uh, a Blightsteel or a Progenitus out, my opponent could have one of their big cards already in their hand and could therefore get it out. Even if they don't, they have a Golgari Grave Troll, which right now would be pretty huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, not, not huge, but you know, that that's respectable. I, I think, yeah, we're, we're gonna get it. We're going to go and get Tinker. Get Tinker and add it to hand. Now, this is going to be a little bit slow. Maybe we can make it. The defenses are going to be down. Uh, one other weakness to Tinker is that on the extremely unlike unlikely chance that I draw Blightsteel here, I I kind of just well no if I draw Blightsteel I can show and tell Blightsteel so it's fine it's fine actually. Response to Icarus triggered. Cool. Hey, what can you do? I, I wish that I still had one of the combo pieces together so that I could, you know, if, if I still had, if I had Blazing Shell dropped, but I still had Progenitus in hand or a Blasphemous Act, that'd be, oh, that's not good. 
Uh-oh. As Evangeline would say, that can't be good. That can't be good. Now, my opponent is not getting a uh, deck more salvage. I, I don't believe that was one of the cards that they dredged into their hand. Um, where are you? There's a deck more salvage. Okay, so there's Icarid. They could just get, uh, they could get it here. To be fair, they could get it here. This does not bode well. If my opponent does not royally mess this up, let's see, is there a dread return in here? There's a dread return. So if my opponent does not royally mess this up, they're in decent shape to win just by going dread return Elishnor. They don't know that. <laughs> they don't know that I still have something I can do. Hmm. I could. I'm about to maybe get a 9 9 infect. That's okay. I think that that's okay. It's not okay. I actually lose. I, I just lose this game. Oh, there's a mana confluence was in hand. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, this does not look great. I may not be seeing this top eight, unfortunately. I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry. So the team is called the Stormcrows, and, uh... They, they changed everyone's name in the group to something bird-related. So somebody's Colgate, like his name's Colgate, he's Colgate, Kaka, like a bird, okay. And there's one in a murder, like a murder of crows. Well, mine is T1 Stormcrow. <laughs> that was easy. That was very easy, what I was going to be. Uh, yeah, F6. Mega F6 here. Oh, um, yep, yep, not looking good for T1 here. Yeah. Do they have another one? Do they have another one? Yeah, I just kind of got dumbstruck there. Honestly. Oh, actually, while, I ha while I'm here, is there a Flamekin Zealot? I see an Elishnorn. That could very well be it. But what else is there? I don't... S oh, wait, no, this person runs a Dragonlord Colagon. There's... Co oh. Good game. Dragonlord Colagon. Let's read this one. Flying haste, other creatures you control have haste. I see 12 2 2, or yeah, 12 2 2s there. So we're gonna go on to, sky, to sideboard. Let's see. Scoop cards. Aha! Uh -huh. So Echoing Truth actually has some utility in that it bounces the little dudes, bounces the Zambonis. Alright, let's put the easy ends first. Ravenous Trap, Leyline of the Void. And let's take out the easy outs while I'm at it. So, Hercules Recall does actual factual nothing. Mental Misstep is about as useless. Those, do, those don't really do anything. And then from there, it gets a little bit trickier. So, the, the wisdom is usually that you don't want to have counterspells against Dredge. However, However, I'm going up against a dredge deck with counter spells. I think that there's a strong case to make that I should... So right now I've taken four cards out, and I still have four Force of Wills left in the deck. I could take out two Force of Wills, still have two Force of Wills in, and let... Oh, oh, and also, let's look at the opponent's sideboard. So Cabal Pit is fun. Cabal Pit 
is going to be Lavinia against me. It's going to force me, assuming they have another black mana out, which deck more salvage mana confluence, uh, assuming they have another black mana or the other Cabal Pit, then I might be in a little bit of trouble because this will just kill one of my dudes in an uncounterable way. So that's not fun. Strip Mine is coming in. So Cabal Pit, Strip Mine. I think Nature's Claim can come in. Hollow One is the anti Digger's Cage package, so you kind of have to put that in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out two copies of Force of Will, and I don't want to bring in Echoing Truth, even though it does have that bit of utility. Oh, going to bathroom. Okay, so you've got a bit of time. I might, I might take a break myself, get some more Kofeve. Keep myself wide awake as best I can. Hmm. Is it worth it to get rid of the zombies? Probably not, and the reason I say that is that they could very well play in such a way that they make the zombies, and without offering me a chance to stop them, uh, without giving me priority, they can sack them to Dread Return, for instance. And in that case, yeah, Echoing Truth is gonna bounce something, but... Hmm, maybe, maybe that's not, that's not fine. I still want Force of Will to protect my combo. I will... I will keep this. It doesn't do enough in the matchup, in my estimation. Take out Never Lucky's... Discard pile, draw seven, keepable seven. Keepable seven. I see a land, a Graft Digger's Cage, Gitaxian Probe, Blighted Age... Okay. So we're close enough that I think that this is keepable. It's risky, no doubt. No doubt this is risky. Having the turn one Graft Digger's Cage, I can I can go Gitaxian Probe first, see if they have a mental misstep. Draw a card. Okay, so shuffled first. Oh, oh fair enough. Keep, uh-oh. A dredge deck that doesn't maul. I'm gonna say a dredge deck that doesn't maul. Keep. Let's see why. Take a look at me now. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a that's a naked force of will. That naked force of will though. Okay, okay. Um, so I'll, I'll draw. Please don't hide that hand. I didn't hide mine. You, you won't. Okay, so there's our second land. Cool! Cool! Graft Digger's Cage! Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, and I'll pass. I'll pass the turn. Uh, if I draw into Progenitus, I just win. That's not necessarily true. They just drew a card. They could bizarre, you know, and find a blue card. So it's it's not necessarily true. I, I'm feeling pretty good about this game, though. I'm feeling okay. Did you find a hollow one? Maybe not. Hollow One would be a decent clock. I'm not worried unless they also find Counterspell backup with Force of Will. Um, oh, hello. What did I say? Oh, there's a Hollow One. Hey! All right, wait, 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 wait. Thinking. So my opponent doesn't know that I don't have Counter Magic myself. There's one blue card that's not terribly likely, or there's one unknown card that's not terribly likely to be blue. Okay. I have
have a tinker and a blight steel in hand, that's not how that's supposed to work. At all. Okay, so I can use Blighted Agent as a fog, and I think that's okay. Nope, not there. Not there, buddy. You know, Graph Digger's Cage, I, I'm an idiot. I'm... no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna say pass. That's... okay, so I did think about Graph Digger's Cage is a bit of a nombo with Tinker, but the power of Tinker is so great that even though I'm bringing in Graph Digger's Cage, I still keep Tinker in. Occasionally you'll find yourself in a spot where you're worried about show and telling because you could give your opponent something like an Elish Norm, which really makes my life hard, or a Dragonlord Colagon. Uh, and Tinker does not have that. Plus, Graph Digger's Cage, you're about 2 in 5 to find it in your opening hand, 39.6%. Uh, dunk. Block it now. No effects, I'm assuming? Oh, hello. What, what is that? That is, my mouse just decided to have a seizure or something. In fact, I, my opponent may have missed that that is in fact damage. Okay, cool. We got there. We got there. And that's one reason why we do it right then and there. Stop, deck! Wow! I can fetch here... There's only one ponder, one pre... or I mean, uh, one brainstorm in the deck, so holding up a fetch land may not be all that relevant. It's not terribly likely to matter. If I tinker, if I tinker here, I can sack the Graft Digger's Cage, and then, no wait, because you're in my hand. You're in my, you're in my hand, dude. Not cool, not cool, buddy. Not cool. Not cool, man. Yeah, we're not, it's not looking good for T1. I could use a top deck here. They are uh, winning this race right now. I have five cards I could draw. That just win me the game unless there's Force of Will blue card. Which there probably is at this point. You have a Cabal Pit. Play it next turn and you're in great shape. Play it next turn and I, I need another creature. Hold on. Okay. Donra. Okay. Whale. Just play the cabal. Just, just do it. It's not looking good. I'm gonna let my dis. While this is happening, I'm gonna let my Discord group know it's not looking good. It's not looking great. If you would like to spectate. It's not looking great for me now. Uh, oh well, it happens. Take three. Do you have another hollow one? Play the pit. Play the pit. Come on, opponent. Play the pit. I already know you have it. You can use it as a threat to keep me from attacking with Ink Moth anymore. I swear. I swear 
please brainstorm into Tinker and I think I'll be okay. No. There's a bridge. Yeah, there's a bridge in a Nicarid that would eat a stinkweed. I, I might be in trouble if that happens, actually. Plus, they could just hold back the hollow one and buy themselves a little bit more time. What am I missing? What, did I... Am I, uh... Is my opponent thinking? Oh, okay. We, uh, played the pit, as you do. I'm gonna fetch first, actually. Just get that deck thinning in. As you do. Let's see. Draw a card. Stop! <laughs> okay, now, to be fair... To be fair, I am unlikely to draw a card that I actually want to get out of, off these top decks. The hope is just that eventually I will get there. That's all. Why are you in my hand, bro? Why are you in my hand? That is exactly not where I want to see you. I would not like to see you there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold back this Ink Moth, attempt to use it to block, it will die. We, we need to get that Cabal Pit out of the way soon. Unfortunately, we, we, we just kind of have to. Um, hmm. In the meantime, we'll play that out. What I would do for you to be anywhere other than stuck in my hand, bro. Okay. So what can save me here? Show and tell would be excellent. Show and tell would be sublime. Um, but we can also find another creature such that this Cabal Pit... I'm about to use the Ink Moth to block. Presumably they're going to... Well, I think that there's a case to be made for not blocking here. Well, they're just going to fire it off in response to a Blazing Shoal. And the odds of me finding a Blazing Shoal and two cards to pitch to it in these next few? Not very likely. I'm probably going to die soon. So it's probably more likely that I can bait the, or bait the Cabal Pit to come out here. Move to blocks. See if they want to try to pit here. Okay, okay, they're playing conservatively. As they should, to be fair. To be fair, as they should. Yeah, they're, they're not falling for it. We're in trouble. We're in deep, deep trouble, folks. I mean, there's another Ink Moth. That's okay. I'll just pass back. I don't want to play that Mox out of my hand. I want to threaten as many cards as I can. They, they definitely have Force of Will blue card. There's no way they don't have Force of Will blue card. There is a negative chance that they don't have Force of Will blue card here. Move to blocks. Alright. Yeah, we got there. We got there. Now, I did take out my counter magic, so a single copy of Show and Tell is not going to do very much. There's a Ravenous Trap, so if I can find a way to get this 
<clears throat> if I can find a way to get this Blightsteel back into my deck somehow, somehow known as Brainstorm, well, I can... Okay, okay, so hear me out. There's a couple things I can do here. I can let... I, I'm just going to sit here. Hopefully I can get to the point where I can make the Blightsteel be discarded to hand size, and then I can tinker for it. It makes me feel kind of dumb that I didn't think of that earlier. To be, to be honest, I, I do feel kind of dumb now. Dum da dum dum dum. Okay, they have 38 cards in the deck. What I would do for a, a break so that I can get some tea, some coffee. Uh, but probably not. I probably shouldn't in the middle of the game. As much as I would like to, probably not. I can't. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. You know, I even have the ability to drop the Graft Digger's Cage here because I have Ravenous Trap. So I can just make it a little bit longer. If I can keep my opponent from finding actual factual anything. Alright, please don't have Hollow One. Please don't have Hollow One. Please, whatever you do, do not have Hollow One. I pray thee. I pray thee. Okay, so they have Elish Norn. I don't see Dragonlord Colagon. And I, I'm... I really don't want to fire this off, and I only see one bridge. Until I can be about as sure as possible. Alright, we're not going to play it out. We're just going to hold it back. Pass the turn. Hold it back, pass the turn. Uh, an Ancestral Recall... Always a good card. Would be really nice right about now. Uh, I could also play a cantrip out. Not just brainstorm, but any cantrip would allow me to keep hand parity. I'll keep the same number of cards in hand. Alright, there's a serum, there's an Icarid, and one other. The clock is real. Alright, show me a hollow one. There's a Progenitus. That's okay. Progenitus is okay. Uh, but it's only okay, so we're gonna pass. Yeah, but we are firmly off of that game plan. <laughs> Obviously, that's not something that we plan on doing. Somewhere in my, in my dreams, I'm imagining beating the dredge deck by them milling themselves out. Things that are not actually going to happen, though. Alas. Breaks my heart. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stifling. Ooh, okay. Now what did they get? We do this first. Um, I mean, it's getting sweeter, but we still haven't hit any of the big cards yet. Move to clean up. Trigger. Make sure that this is okay with my opponent. All right. So, and then shuffle. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> not not in chat. Hit the. There it goes, there it goes. Last time I did this, I didn't remember that it doesn't auto-shuffle when you put the card back, which obviously is a, a good... It's good it doesn't do that, but I didn't know, and so I just drew the card I put right there. Thank you to someone in chat for reminding me, or in the comments of my one of my other videos. And, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Cleanup happens last, so, uh, pass turn. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm going to tinker, sack the Graft Digger's Cage. Oh, wait a minute. There's still a problem. There's still a chance I can lose. They have Forcible Blue Card. So, tinker is not enough. 
I'm still not there yet. Taking one. Yeah, we are. <sighs> There's a cabal pit. There will be another cabal pit, and there could be a strip mine. We're down a blighted agent, two ink moth nexi. We haven't used a plague stinger yet, I believe. I don't think we've seen one. We have not. So we can still get out of this. It's possible. There's the other Cabal Pit. Well, okay then. I actually might ask for uh, a moment for just... A, I may have to run by the restroom real quick. I may have to run by the restroom. But in the meantime, there's a bridge I mean, they can still play from here. I really don't know that I should ravenous, use Ravenous Trap yet. I really don't think I'm there yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna ask for a break. May I run by the restroom quickly? Please. I'm sorry. It's becoming a distraction, to be honest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be. Make sure my opponent's okay with it. Let's see. If okay, well, since they haven't responded yet, while I'm thinking, or while they're thinking, um, mm, let's see. So I can play a mox. Okay, so, play a mox, um, tinker, dropping, oh wait, that's perfect, that's perfect, I can drop the graft digger's cage, I can tinker away the graft digger's cage, and play another graft digger's cage afterwards if, I, if I'm wrong, I mean, I'm assuming they have forcible blue card, there's no way they don't, but, some, you know, if they don't have it, I get a blight steal. If they do have it, I have another graft digger's cage, so we're good. And I'm gonna be right back. Thanks again to my ever gracious opponent for giving me the chance. So what we're gonna do is pray. We're gonna pray. No, no, they have they have uh, force of will clearly. So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play. Just the mox first, I believe is correct. So we're gonna play the mox first. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're going to tinker, sacking the graft digger's cage. All right. All right. Sorry. Back. Alright, so there's no way that there's not a response to this. Force of Will pitch Narco Amoeba. Yep, as expected. As expected. Alright, is that last card mental misstep? Let's find out. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess I'll pass the turn. Pass it right on over. So we still haven't hit Colagon yet. Dragon Lord Colagon. Fortunately, there are now no more cards in my deck that care about Graft Digger's Cage. Well, maybe it's okay. It's 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 good. We're good. We're good now. So that was not a mental misstep. Whatever it is, it's not mental misstep. Yeah. Oh well. Take the one. Cool. I was wondering when you'd show up. 
I was wondering when it would show up. Yep, all right, it's running real thin here, real thin. Uh, no response. Yep, here we go. Untap, draw. I can go oh my goodness this is tough this is real tough I can go wait okay so I can play the black lotus here that's the, that's a given I can go wait um, move to blocks, make sure that I can block first. Better late than never. Alright, sorry I keep ducking off camera. I can, once I've declared the block on the bigger one, I can tap Black Lotus, sack it, make red, Blazing Shoal, I'll still get to keep my Progenitus, and I will force my opponent to use one of the Cabal Pits. And that'll buy me a turn to find Progenitus, or to find Show and Tell for Progenitus. That way I don't have to pitch the Progenitus here. I think it's also correct for me to play the Fetch Land. I can get a little bit of Deck Thinning after this. Uh, I can also use it theoretically to just pump for even more damage, I guess. Um, hmm. Going to pass the turn right along. Alright, so real quick, we're going to pay do Island for Ink Moth. Red Red and Extra for Black Lotus, Mox Emerald, Underground Sea, Underground Sea, and that'll be, actually that's too much, so we can just do plus 3 plus 0 to kill it. They don't have any pumps, that's not going to be a thing. Alright, untap my opponent, untap my friend. Or they could find Strip Mine, that would be my luck too. Oh man. Where's a goat I can sacrifice real quick for a, for a top deck show and tell? That would be superb. I, I would be okay with that. It's not the be all end all though. If they find two more hollow ones, might be in trouble. Moved blocks. See if they're going to be okay with that before blocks. Nope, they're going to sack it first. That's what I was afraid of. And Blazing Show only helps the power, not the toughness. Thinking. How do I say float colorless? Float one. They didn't fall for it. Alright, taking five. I need a top deck. I'm holding out for a hero. And no, it is not possible for me to make, even with Black Lotus, all of the mana that I would need to hard cast Progenitus. It's just not a thing. Unfortunately, no. So, at this low life total, it doesn't make any difference if I fetch here. We're going to do upkeep fetch. Does it? Does it make a difference? So if I find progenitus, 
If I find show and tell for Progenitus, I actually haven't done all that much, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm gonna tick down. I'm gonna find our last fetch land, or last land that we can fetch. My opponent knows this. And we'll draw. Ooh. look through all the information I have, none of which has flashback. Hmm. Let's see. Nope, nope, they got me. Trap, the having the blight steel in hand, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. But sometimes that's just how the ball bounces. You get tinker and blight steel in hand. So I'm gonna say pass. Yeah, even looking at this, we have blue, blue, black, black, green. Uh, <laughs> no, show and tell is the only way to get it out. For combat. Haha. Uh -huh. I lose, so let me lose in style. Alright, so plus two, three, four, five, six. Plus six, plus O. Yeah. Congrats on the first seed. I'm sorry, I'm a little quiet there. Incredible plays by the elf. <laughs> well, you know. Alright. I hope that you take it now. Ah, uh, hopefully you can still top eight. I can't, sadly. That's all right. That's the risk I took. On the bright side, dredge on the play. <laughs> Rip your opponents. Yes, yeah, seems strong. I have a feeling you might go far. You might go far. Just maybe. All right, well, anything you would like to say to YouTube? Hopefully they don't rip me. Well, yeah, there is that. I don't think there are a lot of rest in peace in the, in the top eight here. Maybe one of, the, one of the Lavinia decks has it, but even then, Grafdigger's Cage also hits Oath, so that's your preferred uh, all graveyard hate. It can be dealt with, to be sure. Um, they do run Nature's Claims, they can, they, they run Hollow One, they can run, uh, Gurmog Angler is one reason to run Rest in Peace over Graft Digger's Cage though, to be fair. It's your boy Never Lucky, just beat the best player and YouTuber in the world. <laughs> I'm retiring to you. <laughs> you can retire after. 
You can retire after you win the next three. <laughs> Good luck, my dude. You can retire after you win the next three. Yeah, you gotta come out on top first. That's how it goes. That's just, that's how it goes. Oh well. <laughs> yep, alright, so that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.